Today, we're gonna review my custom electric bike. What makes this bike stand out in the pack is it's 70 mile an hour top speed, it's horrible brakes, and it's $10,000 price tag. So let's take it out for a review and run it through the tail happy circuit and see what this bike is made of. Under the hood is an aftermarket 72 volt, 38 amp hour battery, and it has an upgraded controller capable of pulling 12,000 watts of power. This is not a hub drive motor and there are no gears. And here's the aftermarket pedals I put on it. And some of you might be thinking this isn't a bicycle until you look at the bicycle brakes. So I'll we'll have to get out there and see how these bicycle brakes perform. Powering on the custom bike. And my electric bike does have nine levels of power assist and a full twist throttle. Do not look at that one, top secret. We'll go ahead and start at the Strava to see what kind of distance we get on today's ride. I'm thinking about titling this video, the Lamborghini of e-bikes. All right guys, let's do the 20% hill grade test. We do have it on power assist nine. I will not be going full throttle, but let's go for it. Whoa, <laughs> front wheels coming up. Welcome to another absolutely beautiful day here in sunny California. We're gonna get this thing out for a little bit of a ride and I'll talk you through it. So the bike does have nine levels of power assist, but I pretty much only toggle between two and that's on-road and off-road. Off-road will activate regen brake and bring the bike to a stop. Tap that button again and it turns off regen brakes so you can just coast. Now, of course you can bump it down to like one, which I just put it on one. It's cool because you can like give this bike to somebody who doesn't have experience and they won't kill themselves by bumping it down power. Sorry. Now I have it on four and you know, you still get power, but it's manageable. Bumping it on to six. That's pretty powerful already. Honestly, when I'm riding it, I only ride on nine because you have access to all the power with the throttle. You don't have to use it all, but you can. On this e-bike, we have access to about 12,000 watts of power. I don't know exactly what the bike weighs, but I think it's about 120-ish pounds. 72 volts are on, on the scale. 71.4 on the front and 66.4 on the back. Wow, 137. A lot of that is the battery, which has about 3,000 watt hours of energy. How is the suspension on it? Well, it's not bad. Dude, it is, oh, that uh, dragonfly hit me. The rear shock is a little bit tight. The front shocks are upgraded. Um, they're pretty good. So you probably want to know how fast does it go? Well, we'll go for a little cruise here. That was not top speed. We kind of ran out of room, but I actually modified the sprocket on this bike to make it go slower top speed wise and give it more acceleration. There's only one gear on this bike. It's a 58 tooth sprocket on the back. I used to have a 54 tooth sprocket on there that would take me about 10 miles an hour faster than what the top speed of it is right now. But these bikes are all about acceleration. Once you get going over about 40, the miles per gallon just goes way down. And you really don't need to go any faster than this anyway. So the brakes, <laughs> the rotors, they are in charge of stopping a lot of weight. They work pretty good at first, but they do experience brake fade. Typically, this is where I do my zero to 20 top speed. Ready, go. Throttle responds immediately. We will not be doing that here today. So is this a motorcycle? Is it a bicycle? I'm not gonna answer that question. Where I live, if you ride it like a bicycle, it'll kind of blend in. The main thing is it's fun. But Matt, you don't get any exercise on that bike. That's actually not true. You don't really get cardiovascular exercise on this thing, but it is actually kind of a lot of work to uh, just manhandle basically the weight of this bike, popping wheelies, just doing all that kind of stuff. It's, this thing actually will fatigue you a lot more than you would think. Now, as some of you already know, I have another channel for this bike entirely called Juiced Joy Rides. I'll put a link to it down in the description box. Tail Happy TV, I've made more for like electric bicycles and Juice Joy Rides is more for stuff like this. Now, everybody always wants to know how fast does it go? Frankly, top speed is stupid, which is why I reduced the gear ratio to 58 tooth. But let's go ahead and just give it a little bit of a pull here and see what it can do today. 
easing on the throttle. Regen brake! <laughs> so it looked like about 63 or so. It used to go 70 on my smaller sprocket. But like I said, top speed is just stupid on these things. I rarely ride this thing faster than 40 miles an hour. It just kills the battery way too fast. And this bike's frankly just too light and too small to feel stable going that fast. Which one looks more like a motorcycle? Now you might be wondering, can you ride it in the sand and take it out on the beach? I'll show you in a few. So check it out. This little app right here will tell you how many watts I'm pulling. So running at this speed, I'm pulling 700 watts right now. This is like 400 watts. This is like the same as any other e-bike. Almost every e-bike I review on this channel can pull like a thousand watts. And it's giving us 900 watts, 900 watts, 900 watts, 800 watts, 700 watts, which is like less than what I'm doing right now. This is 300 watts. It just has more on tap. I don't use it when it's not appropriate. Do the police care? You have your ID real quick? Yeah, I do. No, they don't. Not around here. I think it's a lot more about how you ride than where you ride. Around here anyway. Can it do stairs? Actually, can it do stairs? Yes. Do a quick little zero to 20 acceleration. You can look at the thing here. I'm not gonna be able to look. Ready, go. <laughs> oh man, it's, it's pretty much limited by the wheelbase of this bike. Cause like if you, I can't even like open it up all the way. So let's see how it does. Zero to top speed, under throw only. 12, 16, 17, 18, 20. Battery's not even on full charge. We'll do another one here. That is like accurate, very accurate speedometer there. Ready, go. Yeah, I can't like, <laughs> it's, it's very, very, very quick. More run here, ready, go. Yeah, front end just came right up. And that's not even full charge. That's only 83%, 79 volts. 84 volts is even more powerful. Yeah. That's what this one is, except yeah. this one has like even more upgrades nice. on it. <laughs> I do think it really is important to ride these things responsibly, uh, especially around other bikes and pedestrians. Other people on other bikes pass me all the time on this thing. I just cruise out here on the bike paths. So this bike is awesome and it's my favorite bike, no question. It did cost me 10 grand to build this thing, but it's not perfect. There are downsides. One of the main downsides to this thing is it's just loud. The chain's loud. Another downside to this thing is you can't really park it anywhere. You can't just leave it in a parking spot. Somebody could pick it up and walk away with it. And if I ever bring it to a place where I have to lock it up on a bike rack, I just have so much anxiety because it's so expensive. Another downside is range anxiety. There are no pedals to give you assistance if you, if you run out of range. Well, it's been about two miles into my six mile walk home. Right now, this is making up for all the lack of exercise I've been getting on this thing. And as I mentioned, the brakes are pretty much bicycle brakes on here and they have good stopping power, but ultimately uh, th this bike is kind of a lot of weight for those rotors to hold up to all of the heat dissipation that uh, is created with all the power and weight of this bike. Another downside is it can be a little bit dangerous, especially if you're riding wheelies and stuff. I have laid this thing down one time doing wheelies. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Let's assess the damage here. Scrape on the pegs, then a little foot peg scrape. Fortunately, I did have my full leather gloves on today. Definitely got destroyed. My pants have just become a little bit more fashionable. Dang it. This is actually my saddest loss right here. Helmet did not touch. Ah, there's a little mark on my hip. I'll uh, just leave it at that. Let's give it a bit of a launch here.
This is where the brakes get dangerous. You do have to be a little careful about not overheating the motor. Oh, the police. I'm turning off. So final thoughts on this e-bike. It's pretty much the most fun you can have on two wheels. If you enjoyed this video, you should probably watch this one next. Thanks for watching, guys. Drop a comment. Give me a thumbs up. Catch you next time.